Hi guys and welcome to Project Diaries. I know it's been a while and I haven't done a video in so long. It feels like an eternity. Uh, things are still not going great for me, but uh, when things go bad, I try to t turn to you guys and I just love making videos. So uh, today I thought I'd just make a quick video on uh, the goods, the bads and the uglies of being a YouTuber. Now I'm going to start with the good because there is so much good about being a YouTuber. Uh, and it's mainly down to you guys. Uh, the amount of support that I've had from my subscribers is priceless. It's absolutely incredible. And um, I don't think I would have been able to get through a lot of my stuff, my troubles without you. Um, my life's getting really complicated. And um, without Project Diaries, it's been even tougher to get through the winter. Um, so it's just been really lovely to get so many messages from people all across the globe. I never thought in a million years that this channel was going to reach the corners uh, of the continents and, and, and cities and it's just unbelievable about how far this is reaching and how many people this is inspiring and how many, whether it be people that are sort of in their, their 60s, 70s, 80s, I think the oldest person to message me so far is 86 so if there's anyone older out there please message me and let me know but there's people that have been gardening for sort of 70 years and they're still learning new things from my channel which is absolutely amazing and especially uh, new new people that are coming in uh, learning for the first time as well. Now a lot of people think I've been doing this for years but each video is actually the first time that I do it. I basically spend about three months um, researching and trying to figure out the best ways that I can tackle that subject. I then spend another three to six months um, growing that um, fruit or whatever it is I'm growing and show you the stage by stage because I know there's a lot of other YouTubers out there that tend to rattle on a little bit and don't really show the process properly and I just got a bit frustrated with that so that's why I started Project Diaries as well and so I just want to thank you guys for that uh, and also just some of the messages I get I know I talk about um, teachers using my videos in classes from kids sort of three, four, five, seven, eleven, fifteen, all the way up to college and universities. I'm absolutely blown away by people doing that. So please, you don't have to message me. If you want to use my videos, just go ahead and do that. That's what they're there for. And I just want anybody to learn from these because I think growing is such a such an amazing thing to do, just getting back to nature. It's, it's wonderful to grow your own food. Uh, and I've also, I mean, it's, it seems pretty bad, but I'm also getting lots of messages from people that are, are terminally ill uh, and people that are in hospital uh, with cancers and, and, and awful things like that. But they're messaging me saying that they're, they're having wonderful times when the kids come to visit them and they're growing um, avocados and things like that on, on um, oh, sorry. <laughs> um, growing avocados on uh, hospital windowsills and it, it kind of breaks away the time that um, the negative stuff that they're having with their families so um, it's lovely to, to get those messages um, <clears throat> uh, I also get a lot of messages from uh, single mums that are having uh, trouble feeding their kids um, and they're thanking me for allowing them to grow uh, buckets of uh, potatoes and tomatoes and sort of high yield crops in such a small uh, space whether it be uh, just a small garden or a, a, a balcony or things like that it's, it's just absolutely incredible about the the amount of varieties of messages that I get and and the amount of people different types of people that are messaging me and I, I, I can't praise that enough and I can't thank you enough I know a lot of people thank me but I just want to thank you so I want to, uh, as I'm on the good uh, the good side of this, I want to give a little shout out to one of my uh, my favourite subscribers that has uh, been one of the only people that have replied to me via uh, a video vlog, uh, and that's Jay. Uh, I don't think he knows that I'm doing this, and I only found him um, after I was searching through any if anybody was uh, copywriting my uh, my videos. So I just found this lovely little response. He'd done it months ago, so I completely missed it. Uh, so just check out Jay's little response here, and I just absolutely adore him. Product diary rules. I will do some planting videos once the fall and winter are over. Next season, next two seasons. 
So as you can see, he's really keen, he's listened to a lot of my videos and he started his own channel, which I'm absolutely amazed about and I wanna give him as much support as possible. So I will leave a link to his channel uh, in the description box below. But he also says this. Yeah, on, on January, on January it's gonna be my birthday, so I'm pretty much gonna ask for a few farming stuff so I can start doing more videos of it. Just to make everyone happy if they like Stuff. Now it's so easy for kids to be materialistic these days and want the latest technology and smartphones and things like that but the fact that he wants uh, gardening equipment for his birthday is absolutely amazing. Now I, I really wanted to uh, contact Jay um, before last year but I, I've, I've been so ill and I've, I've had so much problems going on in my own life that's why this one's a little bit delayed. But Jay, if you if you watch this, um, can you please get maybe your parent or guardian to contact me? I want to try and get you some of these uh, gardening equipment that you want. I know I'm struggling with finances myself at the moment, but I want to try and help you out. Um, so if you if you can get your parents or anybody to to contact me, um, or there's loads of different um, social media way, ways for you to get hold of me uh, in the description box below as well. Get them to contact me. I'd, I'd even do a FaceTime with you if you want. I'd like to do a video one-on-one, -on -one, give you some advice and help you, and just to meet you, because I think you're absolutely incredible and what you're doing is brilliant. So uh, I really hope you had a, a great birthday. You didn't say what date it was, but I think it was either this month or last month. I hope you got what you wanted, but if not, I want to try and sort it out for you to, to at least get some more gardening equipment, which is absolutely amazing. Uh, so, but that takes me on to the bad side of YouTube as well. And if you can see that Jay's only done a couple of videos, and you can you can do a search on YouTube, and uh, you can go type in uh, "baby laughing," and the the top video on that will literally have thousands of dislikes. So the internet is quite a malicious and vicious place to be. And I was really sad to see that Jay was getting a bit of hate as well. And people just saying that his videos were trash. And I, I basically think that if you're going to be that kind of person, to say that to that kind of, to somebody who's really trying something new, then you're the garbage person. To say, to be so negative towards other people, to actually go out of your way to be negative towards somebody else, just makes you a, a bit of a time time waster and a bit of a uh, bit of a nasty person. So the other bad thing about um, a specifically this channel is because of my health problems uh, Project Diaries is two years behind from where I want it to be. I have so many older videos that I've said that I'm going to upload uh, and I'm really struggling to keep up with uh, with uploads and editing. I'm still filming. But I know lots of people are saying that I should take some time out and I'm really, you know, I, I, I've been forced to really. Uh, but I'm just really upset that I'm not where I want to be with this channel. A lot of the gardens had to die, it's died back and it, it's pretty much, it's all dead. Um, there's been over sort of seven months of me not being able to go anywhere near Grandad's because of my own health problems and I'm still not getting the, the care that I need. So that's the really bad thing, um, what's happening right now. And I'm, I'm quite frustrated because I put a lot of effort into this channel and I just absolutely still love the fact that people are sharing my videos, liking my videos, watching my videos. But um, because I'm not uploading, the way that the YouTube algorithm works is that my recommendations are, are plummeting and I've lost quite a lot of viewers. Um, but I'm really hoping that when spring starts kicking in and everyone will start uh, searching for my videos again, that will start boosting up and my channel can start getting recognised. Um, so... I'm, like I say, I'm not going to give up on this. Uh, I'm I'm needing to take some time out. It's not from my own choice. I'm trying to get back on my feet and, and trying to get the health, uh, the the recovery that I need. But uh, everything is just a big struggle right now. So I will try and do little videos every now and then, and I will try and upload some of my other other videos, like I've promised you. Um, and that kind of goes into the ugly side of uh, being a YouTuber. You get so much abuse. And, uh, you know, I took some time out because of trolls and things like that. But it wasn't, the trolls got to me a little bit, but it was more the fact of I felt sorry for them. If if someone is going to be that horrible and that nasty, then you, you're probably in the wrong direction. You're going in the wrong direction in your own life. 
And I just feel really sad that people need to do that and feel like, like they need to go out and attack other people to make themselves feel good. I've already tackled that in my, my bully video and you know, the way that trolls work is just, it's pretty sad really. But I'm not going to allow that to affect me or this channel anymore. The only time I've had to take out is just because of illness like I've said. But I'm also getting a lot of people that are, uh, are really angry because I'm not getting back to them, replying to them. Now I, I couldn't have been any more plainer. Uh, about me struggling to to reply to thousands of people, I I can't even keep up with the messages that I get now. This since I hit a hundred thousand subscribers, this channel is is getting so many different messages from, like I say, people all across the globe, from America to Australia and everywhere in between. It's 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 amazing, but it's also frustrating that people think that I can be their personal gardener, and that if they're their plants start dying, it's my fault somehow. I I mean, I've even had messages of people saying, I can't be bothered to watch all the rest of your video, can you just tell me how to do this? Or, uh, I, didn't, I didn't bother seeing all of your video, I've made a mistake and you've killed everything. And it's just like, <laughs> if you're not gonna watch all of my videos, I try and break it down as, in as simplest terms as possible and the best terms, uh, just how I would have learned it or try and teach granddad especially after he's had his stroke, I've got to try and simplify everything. So I try to make my, my videos as simple as possible. So if you're having trouble and you can't be bothered to watch my video, then that's your problem. It's definitely not mine. So if things are dying, then join the Facebook gardening group. There's so many people on there. Uh, everyone's giving some great advice and we're a really supportive team. And you know, if, if you're a beginner gardener or a, or a skilled gardener, just go on there and help people out. Don't be don't be shy to ask for help. Uh, but you know, don't just come at me and, and tell me that I've killed all of your plants and it's all my fault. Blah blah blah, because I've not been around. I can't hold your hand. I'm if I've if I've inspired you to do these videos, then you know you've got to take that inspiration and and do your own research. I can't like I say, I can't hold your hand and, and do this stage by stage for you. I will try and do some other little videos, maybe some Q and A. Uh, write some messages down in the uh, in the uh, message box below, and let me know um, other videos that I might be able to do for you. I've made it look like uh, I'm in the shed today, but I'm actually on some green screen. <laughs> Uh, I'm, in, I'm at my parents house um, so I could do some green screening, I could do some Q&A's, uh, I could try and do, do some simpler videos, uh, I just don't think I'll be able to make it into the garden. If I miss spring then I'm, I'm going to miss growing season so uh, you know everything's a little bit uh, complicated at the moment. But I'm still here, I'm still uh, getting back to as many people as possible, especially the ones that are positive. Uh, I've spent most of, most of the past few hours, most of this morning, uh, replying to loads of people. I'm so proud of every single one of you that are, that are trying new things. Avocados seem to be really big at the moment. Uh, but I've also had somebody tell me that I should get rid of my avocado video because the amount of water they they take. But it's ridiculous. If you're going to go at something, then uh, go at the... Um, the livestock and cows and things like that. If you want a uh, waste of water and things like that. Now I'm not a vegan myself even though the people have told me I look like a vegan. Now I'm not sure how vegans look um, seeing as you can still consume a lot of junk food, uh, vegan junk food and sugar and things like that. So I'm not sure what the stereotypical uh, vegan looks like. I'm a, I'm a rocker, I'm a music uh, promoter so the long hair and the beard Maybe that gives you the idea of uh, thinking that I'm a vegan. I don't have anything against anybody, so I, I take that as a compliment if it is, because uh, vegans do quite a lot of good for the environment. I consider myself a uh, nutritionist and an environmentalist, uh, and somehow that's all sprung from me uh, me using Project Diaries, which I never thought I'd do, ever. I was all into the music industry and partying rock, rock and roll lifestyle, so my life's changed considerably because of this channel, which I'm absolutely amazed by. But anyway, I just thought I'd do a quick little video for today, give Jay a big little shout out, or big little shout out, <laughs> uh, and just give everybody some love and just tell you that I'm still here and I'm still doing the best that I can. These little videos help me out and they make me feel better. They, they help me smile and, and they boost my, my endorphins and just try and allow me to escape all the, all the 
hassle and rubbish that I've got going on in my own life but I'll try and keep things positive and I'll try and keep these videos coming but I haven't forgotten about you I know it's late to say this but happy new year really wish you all the best for growing this year and if you need any help don't forget the Facebook gardening group and I'll try and get back to you whenever I can anyway take care of yourself and I'll see you again next time